Hello and welcome to episode 3 of our Lord of the Rings Let's Play. If you remember in the last episode, we just barely escaped from Hawkeye's cave with the enemy in hot pursuit. So our next task will be to escape across the Brandywine River into our new home in Buckleberry. Um, but first, I wanted to bring up one little kind of trick you can use in this game uh, that I didn't have time to mention in the last video. If you want to bring Hawkeye with you um, on the rest of your journey, um, you can actually use this trick to keep him. And uh, as long as you don't trigger the orc attack, he won't lead you back to his cave and that will not result in him uh, sacrificing himself. So what you'll want to do is as soon as you encounter Hawkeye, don't bring up the menu. Uh, immediately just head due west. That's the first thing you want to do. Uh, usually count to about 10 seconds, 15 maybe, just walking west because there's a certain uh, area along the east side of the Green Hill Country that triggers the uh, orc attack. But it doesn't extend all the way north and south. So what you want to do, head west. I just count 10, 15 seconds in my head. But um, you'll do that and then immediately head due north or due south. If you head north, you'll run to a river bank. And if you head south, you'll run to um, kind of a hedge. And you won't be able to go past that, obviously. But after you run to either of those borders, you'll want to just head due east. And since the spot for the script doesn't extend all the way north and south, you can... Um, and just bypass it by going along the north or uh, southern side of it. But, um, yeah, and if you use that trick, you can um, keep Hawkeye with you in your party. Um, I, w I didn't do that. I'm going to try and keep with the most, um, I don't know, the word, canon, I guess, correct um, way the developers, I think, designed the game. But, uh, yeah, you can use Hawkeye, and it seems they, they wrote in other scripts for him at later points in the game, so it's not like they didn't want you to do that. Um, but at any rate, we'll continue on with our journey east across the river, and let's see what we have here. Somewhere nearby, a frantic bird chirps, Gandalf, Gandalf. Well, let's see, here we have a, the bird cry is louder and more frantic, Gandalf. You have fallen into a pit. There is an opening in the roof of the cave directly above you. I guess we'll have to see if there's anything uh, of value or use that we can uh, find in this cave. It just seems to be telling us there's an opening in the roof. And here we have our second spider. Although I'm sure um, with the additions to our party that we've made, drew in with his big trusty axe, I'm sure we can bring the spider down no problem. And maybe even the pony will be able to check. There we go. The brown bird spreads its wings. For a moment, you have the impression of a face, like Gandalf's, maybe a bit younger. A voice comes from the bird, speaking in the common tongue. If you have not found the elves, seek them at night on the roads leading to Green Hill Country. Ask them about Albereth, for her name has the power to protect you, as will the name of Luthien. But that one you will not learn there. The old forest is long and hard and dangerous, but the enemy will not follow you there. Seek the master of the forest. Call for help in dire need. Gandalf, Gandalf. Then the bird is gone. Well, that's all we'll be able to find in this cave, so once we find the opening directly above us, we'll be able to climb out. I actually noticed that Sam um, had a bit of health taken out of him, so I'll go ahead and um, use his rations. And there's one last thing we need to do before we leave the Green Hill Country. Right here. There's someone coming up ahead, Mr. Frodo. I can hear a horse. Good. I'm tired of looking at my cousins all day. Uh, I think we should get off the road. I don't want to be seen leaving the Shire. And it's actually very smart to take Frodo's advice on most of the roads in this game because um, one of the most surefire ways to get attacked is to be walking along the road at night. Pretty much most points in the game, if you're doing that, a black rider will work his way in there somewhere. Those uh, tricky bastards just find their way in at the most inopportune times. So you want to do your best to avoid them uh, traveling by day, avoiding the paths are the two big things you can do to avoid that. You've entered Farmer Maggot's farm. 
It brings back bad memories of being chased by dogs during boyhood mushroom raids. Well, hopefully our experience this time will be a little bit better. Three huge dogs growl at you as you pass by, warning you to keep away from the bedroom. Farmer Maggot is sitting in the living room, looking worried. Well, I guess we should find out what is troubling the good farmer that set his dogs on us. There was a big man from foreign parts asking for Mr. Baggins. I told him to go back where he'd come from, double quick, or I'd set the dogs on him. Then he gave a sort of hiss that might have been a laugh and spurred his great horse at me, and I jumped away only in the nick of time. After that, I found my boy in the lane, and I don't know what happened to him. I was going off to get the healer, but I don't want to leave him. Will you go to the village and bring him back? It's not far, and I'm very worried. He isn't waking up. As long as there's a reward in it for us, I would be happy to do that for me, farmer. And his comment about the village is actually a little bit misleading because uh, the farmer's actually not back in the village. He's just in this weird, random sort of house that you may have missed walking by on your way across the river. You are at the healer's home. A wizened old hobbit sitting in a chair turns and looks at you. I see there is a need for me. I will join you, says the healer. He's a psychic, too, apparently. But at least that saves us the trouble of having to put in some random word in his question box. So we'll have to see what sort of reward we get from the farmer for bringing the healer back. What does he have to say? The same thing, even though the healer is standing right in front of him. Maybe we'll just walk over to the boy. Farmer Maggot calms the dog so the healer may pass. The healer is leaving the fellowship. The healer crushes leaves in steaming water and bathes the wounds. There's a sweet fragrance, and the wounds close and heal. In gratitude, Farmer Maggot offers you some mushrooms. Well, we know who our pack mule is when it comes to food. The pony. I tell you, man, that uh, healing technology the healer had was pretty damn impressive. I think the U.S. should get in on that. Anyways, uh, you have reached the Buckland Ferry, where Mary Brandybuck has been waiting for you. We know you're going to leave the Shire, he says, and we intend to stay with you until the bitter end. Well, we'll obviously have to recruit Mary, since he's the fourth hobby, you know. Um, you were at the Buckland Ferry. Do you wish to cross here? Of course, since the bridge is guarded by the black man. You have crossed the brandy one. The ferryman returns to the other side. You know, all these uh, white hobbits are so superstitious about these new black men coming into town. In the northeast, you can see the high white halls, high white walls, excuse me, of Brandy Hall, home of the Brandy Bucks. And I'll just go ahead and uh, tell you, if you didn't give the bag end key to Lobelia, this is where she'll come back to arrest you. So it's a good thing we did, so our journey can continue on. And we'll go ahead and see what's going on within uh, the halls here. Seems this um, cupcake on top of a dress is blocking our path, so we'll have to use our sneak skill to craftily get by her. Though Esmeralda Brandy Buck is not easily tricked, you manage to distract her long enough to sneak into Brandy Hall. Take that, you old bitch. Shards of broken smoking pipes lie among piles of mishandled library books. A book is open on a table. Where is my pipe? A ghost shouts. As you approach the shelves, the ghost pelts you with pipe shards. You cannot touch these books. Well, it seems to me if he's pelting us with pipe shards and wondering where his pipe is, I think he seems to have answered his own question, but whatever. I guess we'll find him a pipe. You see some items here you might use. Silver pennies, always useful see what this hobbit in here has to say. Fatty. Great name. Hi, have you seen the ghost yet? Wow. What about the ghost? A rather strange thing to find in a library, isn't it? This is great. Let's see if he knows anything about the library. 
I don't know any more than you do about that. Well, for the go-to answer, let's go to our go-to question, the news. A woman who claims to be a friend of Gandalf is in Buckland, asking for Mr. Baggins. Well, well, well. Let's we'll check that out at some point. As soon as we talk to this old geezer over here, Sarah Doc, you shouldn't be here. There's a ghost in the house. Yeah, which we've heard from Fatty. Miserable thing, you can't read with a ghost in the room, and I just found some of your uncle's books. I guess we should ask him about the news, I suppose. But it's kind of funny, I think, that um, men from the south here come to the Shire, setting up a store with the strange name of Sharky Shipping. It's kind of funny that that's his big complaint about the ghosts. Well, you can't read with the ghosts around. Um... But before we leave Brandywine Hall, this is actually the first place that perception, uh, the perception skill will come to play. And that's kind of a funny skill because you never really have a good clue of when to use it. But you'll actually need to use it here, next to Sarah Doc. And we see the pipe that the ghost wanted, although you, you can get pipe and pipe weed, but you only need one or the other. And the other place to use our perception is in the bathroom, obviously. You see something glittering in the bathtub. The gate key. And since we know Sarah Doc is a master of the keys, hopefully that is the key we can use to get into the forest. And we've seen he's throwing pipe shards at us. So maybe we can trade that pipe to the ghost and he'll leave us the fuck alone. The ghost lights the pipe weed, sighs happily, and fades from existence. Now that we got rid of the stoner ghost, we can read to our heart's content. You read an owl on stool, now called Weathertop. Secret stairs lead to tunnels of danger. One of the diaries thrown to the floor by the ghost says, South and east of the old forest is said to be the burial place of the Springstone, an artifact of the elder days. It was buried long ago, upon a hill. Near the waterfall is the hidden entrance to the cavern of the Withy Windle, one of the oldest and slyest spirits of Middle-earth. She will help travelers, but she often has a high price. A story which a hobbit wrote for his children says, Second only to the willow man in malice among the trees of the old forest is the black alder. He fears nothing but his ancient foe, the rooty oak. The roots have grappled for centuries. A diary fragment says, One receives strange dreams in the house of Alas, this page is torn. To escape the old forest maze, find the ruins to the northwest corner. Proceed south, then east, until you can go no further east. Then south, then follow the long, winding trail. Do not stray on the eastward paths. The true road is south and winding. Well, I don't think we're going to be able to uh, have the time to tackle the old forest in this episode. But fortunately, we'll find that the directions are not nearly as complicated as that. There's two very simple steps you need to take to get through the old forest. No problem. But we'll um, go up here first and see what we have going on. Rose Cotton seems very glad to see Sam Gamgee. I've got a present for you, especially since you're going to be helping, spending a lot of time helping Mr. Frodo move into Buckland. Well, that's just sweet. Get the lovely lady's token for Sam. And then immediately leave her all alone. For the, the next lady we're going to find. So the last thing we'll need to do in uh, Buckland is head on up to the uh, tavern up here. The tavern is full of the smell of pipe smoke and ale. The bartender smiles as you enter. The smell of ale is too much for Druin. He goes to the bar and will journey no further with you. It just looks like we have a fucking drunk. But this is the lady I was talking about that we'll need to uh, get in our party here. I know thy purpose. I was trained by the White Council and I and will serve thee. Let's see what she knows about the White Council. Those who love this Middle-earth and fight against the Lord of Shadows. 
What Lord of Shadows? I'm utterly clueless. And so are you, apparently. Well, we know Gandalf is on the White Council. Let's see what she knows about him. A wise and subtle wizard. I expected him to be with you. And we know that Saruman is also on there. The greatest wizard of Middle-earth. Know his servants by the white hand. And Radagast. She doesn't know about Radagast. She doesn't know about the other three wizards, apparently. Um, but we can actually recruit Athelwyn. And she comes uh, by default with two rations. So I'm going to go ahead and trade those to the pony. And there's kind of this weird thing... Where she'll actually follow you if you get within a certain distance of her. Even if you're outside the bar, if you kind of walk over here, she'll sort of join you, which is kind of strange. But speaking of joining, you can actually just recruit Druin back to the party. So apparently he's got his fill of alcohol and smoke. So he's just drunk enough to follow us on our journey. And since we were perceptive enough to find the keys from Saradoc, we can go through the old forest. Since we know the enemy will not follow us in there, that's probably the best uh, route we can take. In the northeast, you can see the high white... Oh, yeah. We already saw the the walls. The high white walls. But the old forest is uh, right here near Brandy Hall. The old forest gate is locked. You recall that Saradoc, the master of Brandy Hall, always keeps the key with him. Well, not if we have it. We can just go ahead and quickly use. There it is, the gate key. And now we are in the old forest. I think this is probably a good place for us to bring this part of our journey to a close. And hopefully you will join me for the next part, crossing the old forest and the Barrow Downs, in episode four next time.